Hello everyone, this is Jingjing. My final machine learning product is to use neural networks to generate music. Recently, there are many approaches to use machine learning technique to make artworks. This slide shows a work done by Leon and other people to redraw a picture by an artistic style. My project is to create an artificial intelligence composer. I would like to use neural network techniques to generate new music from current music. The dataset I use is collected from Nordingham Music Database and ABC Notation Web. All the music data are in a ABC Notation format. ABC Notation is a kind of music language which only uses ASCII to characterize per set to demonstrate the, the notes and the rhythm. It can be converted to MIDI music file to be played by a system music player. However, to simplify the whole process, I've created a playboard to play the ABC notation file directly. This is the playboard. I use the sound from training dataset. I click play. You see it can directly play the ABC music file and the notes will follow the playing process. The technology I use here is called the Character Level Recurrent Neural Network. Recurrent Neural Network is a kind of neural network, but expanded by time. Every time it has a new input and an inner state, which is HT. The calculation result of the neuron depends on the previous state HT-1 and the input, which is XT, at that time. Character level recurrent neural network is initially introduced by Andrew Kapasi. The model gets characters one by one as input and learn to predict the next character as its learning purpose. Finally, it can generate a new sequence of characters from what it has learned. Previously, people used it to generate text. This slide shows the example of using Shakespeare's work as training data. The text in the pink box is the result. It seems like a drama script. However, if you see it carefully, the content totally makes no sense. Original code of character recurrent neural network given by Kapasi is by Torshan Lua. I tended to use TensorFlow as platform. However, TensorFlow doesn't support GPU calculation on Windows. Therefore, I tend to use Keras with Ciano as backend. The code is adapted from Keras example for text generation. I made a little modification on it to make it suitable for my dataset and change the model to get a better result. And also, I have pre-processed the data, eliminating irrelevant information such as the title and the number of the music. Let's see how it works. This is the result I get from the program output. It records all the output of the program. I've clicked every period's result in PowerPoint. So, you see, after first iteration, the generated text seems very random with a lot of quotation marks. If directly put this into Playboard, it cannot be played by the player. After 5 iterations, it can somehow learn the structure of ABC format file, file such as tone and the rhythm, uh, such as K column line and uh, M column line. Let's listen to what it generated.
I would say it is just so so, not so random but also not a good music. Let's see how 10 iterations works. Uh, you see the text generated by iteration 10 is kind of random and uh, the music also not sounds good. Let's see iteration 15. I think this sounds very good and uh, you see the text is re really well formatted. I believe the model somehow has learned the correct format of ABC music. As a result, I will say the result is fairly good. I guess white music generated at iteration 10 doesn't seem so well is because it is still in the process of learning. When at iteration 15, the model exactly learned the, the ABC format and the whole music. Now I'm curious, how novel are those music? In other words, how much similarity between the generated music and the original music? Does the model really create the music or just copy paste some fraction of the original music. Therefore, I choose Lavinsian distance as the measurement. Uh, it is measured by the minimum number of single character edits from one string to another. Here I use an example between kitten and sitting. You see, it needs three modifications from kitten to sitting, so their distance is three. And I define the similarity between two music is the similarity between their ABC file, which is defined as the slide shows one minus the Lavestance distance between them over the sum of their length. Here is the code. Then I get the most similar music with the generated music. I choose iteration 15 music as the example. So you see the similarity is about 0.61. Let's listen to them. This is the original music. This is the generated music.
I would say generated music is really different from the original music. Here's the conclusion. I think the recurrent neural network model is really impressive. It has the ability to learn the structure and the format of the file. And it also has novelty. It is not just concatenates different part of the original data. It can really generate the novel music. In future, I think I may build an interactive website to generate music dynamically and find a numerical measurement on whether the music is sinful. Thank you.